As we move on now to the women's 200 metres individual medley SM7 classification. And an interesting heat one for you here. Langhill, Mihain, Routliff, Keeling Ting from China, Talamona, and Rolo Marchal from Spain. Routliff was fourth in the breaststroke final, 17 years of age, and silver in this event at the World Championships, and uh, Keeling Ting gold in the 100 metres backstroke 20 years of age so we can expect a strong start we've seen these Chinese athletes so proficient in the backstroke and taking races out hard Nihane as well swimming in lane three and she got off to a great start she's also very strong in the free and breast so she's taken out the butterfly hard though as well so she's swimming six events at the Rio 2016 Paralympic Games. So leading out the butterfly at this stage and it'll be Meehane who will touch in at the wall first. Not a huge advantage at this stage. Routliff from Canada in lane three just staying just off her left shoulder at the moment. So Meehane with the early advantage, 38, 37, 84 for the first 50 butterfly route lift from Canada, 40.03 at the first split. Settling into the backstroke, expect the Chinese athlete Keling Ting to make her move here. She is stroking strongly, although Meehane holding form at this stage and it's going to be a very close touch in at the 100 split. I like the way Mihane is swimming at the moment, but uh, does need to try to uh, turn it on just a little in the backstroke. She's been improving her backstroke and uh, has actually entered the 100 breaststroke at these games. Failed to qualify for the final, however, only finished fifth in her heat. And that might be the, the area where she loses it, Mihane. But Ratliff is looking good as well, and Keely Ting has actually touched first. But Mihane is stronger on the turns. Kili Ting of People's Republic of China, just on the uh, nearest to your screen, and the two Canadians going neck and neck. A shorter, choppier stroke from Tess Routliff. Mihain, very deliberate in the stroke, desperately trying to keep pace, but Routliff is showing some strength in the water and is surging into uh, a substantial lead with 25 to go in the breaststroke. Kelly Ting is not making up too much on Mihain, but Mihain will wear herself out just a little if she tries to keep up with the pace. Once she turns into the freestyle, we'll feel a little more comfortable though, but it is Routliff of Canada who will turn at the 150 in, in the lead. Well, we did expect that from Routliff. We know that she's a very strong breaststroker, but has set herself up very nicely for the final 53. About three body lengths in front of her nearest rivals in her teammate, Mihain and Keely Ting from China. So very close in the second position for this heat, but easily Mihain, uh, Routliff out in front. She's extended her lead even further. She's having a great freestyle leg here. I suspect the two swimmers trailing her are tiring. And down in lane six, Talamona's also having a fantastic swim, finishing really strongly, but easily touching in at the wall is Routliff from Canada so setting a tone for the final will be the Chinese swimmer to touch in second so that qualifying time for the final 304.87 Mihain will touch in third fourth to Talamona who finished the back end of that race extremely well As we wait for the final two athletes to come in, it'll be Langhill from Canada as well. So three Canadians in this heat and touching in just ahead will be Rollo Marcial from Spain. So they will have to wait and see whether their times will be quick enough after the second heat is swum. So Tess Routliff from Canada, the fastest qualifier from heat one. Swimming almost on par with her qualifying time. 
she spun that in 3.04.87. Qualifying time was only marginally faster. Putting herself in a good position. For the final, still well outside record time. Such a strong free leg, that final 50. She touched in the wall with a good advantage and then just built on that slightly, particularly in the final 25 metres. So she'll have to be feeling very confident going into the final in great form and obviously.